and I raised him. I raised him to that he overcame. Any man that is not a tool shall not overcome. Any man that is not a tool shall not overcome. Yea, I'm raising ministers, ministers who will raise men, who will raise men to be tools of God, fully furnished, fully furnished for the work, for the work is great, but men need to be made ready to be tools in the hand of God for the harvest, for the harvest, for the harvest. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you. We receive that. Thank you for our grace to appropriate that we just spoke in this morning. Be thou exalted, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. You may be seated. Give somebody a high five by your side. Welcome to church. Welcome to church. Welcome to church. Welcome to church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. How many of us are ready to pray? Because the season we are in is the season of prayer. We are not going to be preaching too much. Just 30 minutes that we will dive into prayer. Amen. Amen. We will be seeing our pastors come and lead prayer. Yeah, we are going to be praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, it's, it's only one side. Anointing is too much this side. It's like this side. I'm going to come this side today. Anointing is this side too much today. I mean, I said we are going. How many of us are ready to pray? Amen. 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 Welcome everyone to church this morning. Welcome somebody by your side. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hallelujah. We are, we are, uh, we are especially welcoming our mommy all the way from Nigeria to London. <laughs> Pastor Sue can make me laugh yesterday. He said, Mommy overstayed. <laughs> Oh, God of Israel. Well, may you overstay next time. Don't overstay. <laughs> Praise God. Well, we appreciate God seeing mommy coming back again. Um, you can see that she's refreshed. You know, um, the Lord took, him to, took her to Nigeria and brought her safely. I always say that if you go to Nigeria and come back, God loves you. But that place is a terrible place for now. Uh, we are trusting God that... Um, Nigeria will become better in Jesus' name. Amen. All the adjud- oh, one day, you see, all this agitation will finish. It will stop. God will take preeminence. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Mommy, you're welcome. Let's appreciate Mommy for coming back. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Let's appreciate our daddy here as well, Daddy Lamikara. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy, for standing strong. Thank you. Thank you for you know, leading. Then we are following. God will continue to bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's appreciate our pastors, Pastor Gordy, Pastor Zuka, Pastor Pass, Pastor Hans, Pastor um, okay, Pastor Kunde, and their wives. Let's appreciate them for taking their place in this work. Amen. Every one of them, and Pastor, Pastor um, Charles is here. Let's appreciate Pastor Charles for good to have you, sir. We missed you, you know. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. We thank God for what God is doing and miss us. Uh, we don't have time because I said we're going to be praying. Amen. As you are coming, please make sure you prepare for to pray. Make sure you are coming for to pray. The Lord will equip us to pray. Amen. Within these 21 days, you will see the difference in Jesus' name. Amen. As you are coming, come believing. Don't come in doubt. Come believing. Then you will see what prayer can do. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, this, um, during this our fast in prayer, we are going to be having our Holy Communion every Sunday. That's instruction given every Sunday after service, um, um, after the administration, we are going to have our Holy Communion. And I believe that God has a reason for commanding us to do so. Um, as we're taking it late, take it in reverence. Don't say it's the usual thing. Anyway, if I miss today, next Sunday, take it with you know, reverence. You know, take it as if we are taking God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Um, let's, let's, let's pray. 
I'm going to help me appreciate my wife. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Um, let's see. I think Acts. Acts chapter 6. I'm going to be reading from verse 1. It says, And in those days, when the number of the disciples was multiplied, there arose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews, because their women were neglected in daily ministration. Um, then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them and said, it is not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Three, wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. For, can we read together? But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the world. Can we read it as, as if we have life in our soul? Want to go? But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the world. Now it's possible for, um, for to serve table, you know, do other things without giving ourselves to prayers and the ministry of the world. Very, very possible. If it's not possible, they will not, you know, put it here. So, Father, we thank you this morning. Thank you for how you have helped us so far. Thank you, Lord, that you have been our rock since 2008 up until now. Father, you have led us through, through things. You have led us through narrow ways. You have you are led us through storms. You have led us through so many things. And all the leadings we are for a reason to brought us to where we are today. We well, thank you. Father, thank you for this new season upon us. Thank you, Lord, for the, the season of prayer. Lord, as we are beginning our fasting and prayer today, Lord, we pray for ability. Lord, we pray for grace. Lord, we pray for power for to pull through. Father, we pray that you will cause us to grow in the spirit. Father, we pray that we will align all our members even unto your will. Father, we pray that we will not pray amiss. We pray according to your will. Father, Lord, I pray that none of us shall fall aside. Lord, we will not fall at the wayside. Every one of us shall be guided up so that at the end of this waiting upon you, seeking your face, Lord, we will return in the power of the Spirit to your own glory. Help me this morning briefly to charge your people for to pray that at the end of today, your name alone shall be glorified. Take away everything that represents me. Lord, I submit totally everything, all my members to you. Lord, let me speak as your oracle. Let me speak as I ought to speak. Holy Ghost, help me to alter as I ought to alter. Gimalakata, help me to bring forth life. Let me to bring forth life. Breathe life upon me that those that will hear me will get life. Help me. Make me alive. Make me alive. Make the words that will be speaking to be alive. Lord, let the word that will be proceeding out of my mouth be a life word that will change us from where we are to where you are. Lord, help us. Help us. Help me. Help me. Help my thought. Holy Ghost, guide me. Give me a tongue of a ready writer. Let blessing come out this morning. 
and let your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. amen. And the church will shout the bigger amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, we are in a world where so many things are happening at the same time. As God is building his people, Satan also is building his own people. Yes. As God is building his people, is, is that from the beginning? Anywhere God is doing something, Satan will also come. Can you imagine? Satan wasn't even afraid. Jesus, plant, God planted the tree of life. Satan came and also planted his own. Because he has an interior motive. He has an interior motive to stop men, not to turn to God. If you don't know, no, that's, that's, the, that's, that's the plan of the enemy. The enemy wouldn't mind you getting the whole world, getting the whole thing life can give without you knowing God. He wouldn't mind. But the moment you begin to turn towards God, Satan will wake up and say, no, your father didn't cross this line. Why would you? You don't know. Your father, this thing you want to achieve, your father never achieved it. What makes you think you were going to achieve it? But I'm here to tell you that Satan has no power over you. The Bible said, the Bible said, he said, who can speak when the Lord has not commanded it? Eh? Eh? Who can speak? He's only writing in our ignorance. That's the only thing. That's what is giving Satan. Who. What is giving Satan where Satan is, is our ignorance. The day our ignorance is taken away, you can see him naked. I am telling you because why the enemy is tormenting us is because of our ignorance. The day light breaks through, Satan leaves you. It says here that, that these guys were, were fighting over me. Imagine, you know, uh, coming to church, they share food. I know it's painful. <laughs> they didn't give you. Hmm? you no, know, you know, that's a uh, uh, pastor. <laughs> that's... There's a way you'll be going that they say, ah, so I'm too small. That uh, the past food now, even in my pro, they pass the food from my present to the next person. And I was waiting. They passed it the until the whole day. Everything finished. They didn't get, you know, that's a way you will carry it. You're like, that was what was happening to these people. To thank God for, for, for God giving them sight and say, no, no, guys. This is not time for us to begin to fight over Christians. I am from Greece, I am from Cameroon, I'm from Zambia, I'm from Nigeria. No. This is a time for us to look. Look, look at what they say. He said, Then the twelve called the multitude of disciples unto them and said, It is not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Wherefore, that means it is possible for people to serve tables. And leave the word of God. Yeah. It's very, very possible. Yeah. And in the mind of the person serving the table, say, I am doing good works. <laughs> yeah. But before God, you are doing nothing. No, no. Yes. You are serving the table should be a function of the world. Mm. You didn't get me. You are serving the table should be what? The function of the word of God. It should be what word of God has raised. Because if you don't know the word, you can't even serve well. You don't know how to serve well. Like, like the TK and the um, pastor were leading on today. You can't, you, you can't be under authority if you negate the word. If the word of God hasn't worked on you, you can never be under authority. You will always see yourself higher than authority. No, 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 you clean yourself. Authority we are putting for you not to actually go astray. Authorities are there to really direct you. That's why they put them there. Isn't that what Roman says? Eh? Let's, let's say that. Well, I'm just going to come back to prayers. Uh, that was what we started with today. Hmm? He said, let every soul be what? Subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. The powers that be are what? Ordained of God. So authorities, both the physical authorities, like people now who are yabbing our president in Nigeria, they don't know that that man is an authority. It's ordained of God. Now people are yabbing that man. 
Yeah, they are having the people here that they, they don't know that these people are God put them there for a purpose. He says, he says, let every soul be subject under the higher powers, for there is no power but God. The powers that be are ordained of God. And the next one, whosoever therefore resisted the power, did what? Resisted the ordinance of God. And they that resist shall receive to them, them what? Domination. So that's why is don't treat authority with levity, honestly. Don't treat authority with levity because there's something God has put upon them as a safeguard. See, see what he says here. He says, he says, when you resist them, he said, you shall receive to yourself or to themselves what? Damnation. In the book of Art, it was saying... Um, that's the, way, that's the way Paul put it in that book of art. Um, um, it says you should, those who watch over you, so that when they are doing it, they will not do it with, with, with rigor. They will not do it with, uh, what am I doing? They will do it with a pure heart. With joy. with joy. Thank you, sir. You say, obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourself for they watch over your soul. You see that? They watch over your soul. That was what we prayed this morning, isn't it? They watch over our soul. Look at what it is. As they that must what? Give a can. Can you imagine you giving your authority headache? How is it going to be giving a can to God? <laughs> Let's come practical now. How is it going to be giving a can? When he's giving a can, he says, Lord, this one. Is it not, by, is it not giving a can? Those who did account, what is given account? Huh? Let's bring it to so that we can understand it. Those who did account, what is given account? Huh? 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 Record statements. Record what? Statement. Giving account. That means this, yeah? That means when they are given account, it's not only ones. <laughs> eh? Huh? Look, at, look at what he said here. Yeah, this is hard to be. Uh, I don't want us to see it as a cliche. Is a life we must live in the days of my, uh, our flesh. Jesus lived this life. That was why the evil one couldn't catch up with Jesus. So Jesus was God. He has everything. But still submitted himself. Praise God. Look at what he says here. He says, for they watch for your souls. As they that must give account. That they may do it with joy. And not with grief. Can you imagine? Giving a can with grief. Oh Lord. This man, this man. I cannot see, I cannot see why. I cannot see why Paul who said uh, Alexander Copper Smith. Yeah. Eh? I cannot see why Paul would pray that prayer. He's giving, eh? He's giving a can, thank you, sir. <laughs> eh? Alexander Copper Smith. He said, May, may the Lord reward you. Yeah. Eh? Huh? Yeah, tell me what? It was given like pastor he said it was given a can. That's why I'm just trying to show us, you know, Pastor uh brought it, thank you. Wanted to go there, okay, let's watch it. But we are talking about prayer. Don't forget, we are talking about prayer. We are coming back with prayer. Amen. Amen. He said, Alexander, the copos me did me much evil. See what he said? He said the Lord reward him according to his he's given an account. They did a can't <laughs> We pray that we will not find ourselves in this place. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I won't lie to you. It's safe to be under authority. Yes, very, very safe. Very, very safe. I can tell you by experience. Being under reverend, I know how safe I am. Both world. Both in times of world of God. And in times of physical thing, even the spiritual so when you are under authority, don't do it like, oh, let, let's do it. If I don't come now, they will talk. No. You are not doing yourself good. Look at what it says here. It says, a day that must give account, that they may do it with joy and not with grief. For that is unprofitable for you. It is unprofitable for us when our authority is grieve over us. When they grieve, 
God is grievous well. I'm not going to God. Remember what we read? He said, they are ordained of oh God. God was the one that ordained them. It doesn't matter whether you senior them or it has nothing to do with seniority. Now, I'm thinking about talking. <laughs> he said the guy was, he said he, <laughs> he was younger than him. Just looking at himself. How can I submit myself to this younger person? So they're telling you because of what you're carrying. That's what they're bringing them. Praise God. Hallelujah. May I'm coming to work. I'm running late. I will test. I will test my person I'm working on that. So I'm running late, please. I remember one day he called me. He said, why do you always test me? I said, no, because I'm under you. So that you will know. He said, thank you very much. Thank you very much. He's an unbeliever, but he understands. He said, you always test. That means other people will come without letting him know. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, authority is very important. It's for our safety. It's for our safety. In the book of Acts, it's in Acts 32, where he says you should feed them. He says you should feed them. He's not talking about shepherds. He says you should feed them. You know, not with a few to look up. That's it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Have I wounded you? No. Uh -huh. He said, take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost had made the overseer. To do what? To feed the church of God which he had purchased with his blood. So the duty of an overseer is feeding. When a, an overseer is not feeding, is not worthy to be an overseer, overseer. Are you getting me? Yeah. One of the criteria for one to be an over, to have oversight over people is ability for to feed. Not not only have feed anyway. Not only have feed. It feed according to the will of God, according to the calibrations of time. Praise God. The next verse. The next verse, sir. For I know this, okay, go back again. Uh, he said, take heed therefore unto yourself to all, to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost had made you overseer to feed the, the, the church of God which he has purchased with his own blood. Now the supposed to say not with feed to look up. I think it's in Timothy. It's in Timothy. Not given to wine, nor striker, not greed, greedy or filthy looker, but patient, not a briler, not covetous. The next one. Amen. One, that, this one, you're talking about the office of a bishop. There's a place it talks about overseers, or those who will feed you know, the people. Hallelujah. So the fact I'm trying to, the point I'm making this morning is, is very, very safe for us to be under authority. There are some battles you can find when you are under authority. You see those battles being taken by the Lord. I won't lie to you. There's something you can fight now. He said, feed the flock of God which is among you. Taking, that's what I'm looking for. Taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for fear to look up, but of a ready mind. And then verse uh, nine, neither has been Lord over God's heritage, but being an example to the flock. So an overseer is not he who lord people over himself. Because he said that God's people are God's heritage. So your own is to feed. Your own also is to live by example. You must example. How do I put it? You must, you must, you must live by example. You must live by what you are teaching. Yes, or what you are feeding people with. And we have seen that over time with our principle. That the love they are living is actually what they are teaching. What they are teaching is what they are living. And that is what... God is expecting us also to come into. Praise the Lord. Amen. So the place we read, we started in us. The Bible said they began to quarrel, they began to fight because of meal. 
and they said, let us not do that. Rather, let's give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. Praise the Lord. The word is very important. The ministry of the word is very important. In fact, that is where your prayer flows from. Any prayer that is not a function of the word, you are actually praying amiss. Yes, sir. Are you getting me? Any prayer that is not flowing out of the word, you are actually praying amiss. And the word will not be effective until there is spirit. The word will remain later until there is what? Spirit. So what makes the word effective? What makes the word of God active? What makes the word of God alive is the spirit of the word. When the spirit comes upon the word, the word becomes alive. Can we say that? And that is the season we are in right now. That God, remember, can you give me the prophecy of Smith Wiggles' word? Let's see. That our Father in the Lord is aligning every one of us. Word, spirit. Word, spirit. You don't have the word you are carrying is still later until spirit breathes upon it. Whether I like it or not. It doesn't matter how you die, that views the word, how you hear the word, how you, you know, put it, you know, in there. You know, the people, their grammar are so powerful. I thank God for them. It doesn't matter how you put it. It is not a grammarian something. How do, is it a grammatical? It's not a grammatical function. It's a spiritual function. It's something that has to do with the spirit. The word will not have effect if there's no spirit. If what you are bringing do not have spirit, man will remain dead. Whether you like it or not. You are killing more people by not allowing the spirit to rest. It doesn't matter how that word sounds. It doesn't matter how revelational that word looks like. Man will remain dead until life comes upon the world. But you can put it in the, in the meeting the other day. Ugusman, we are you, you can go to the platform, the Tiger platform, put it in the meeting. Where he says, um, um, I think I, I have it. I want to read something. So you can know where we are right now. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want, there's something I want to say before I continue. You put it in one of the there we lead uh, there was a prayer. You put it and uh, that forwarded it. If anybody can find it for me so that I can read it. I don't know where I put it again. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, it's good to archive these things. Um, it will help us to really journey the way we ought to journey. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Um, I've seen it. It said, during the next few day tickets, there will be two distinct moves of the Holy Spirit across the church in Great Britain. The first move will affect every church that is open to receive it and will be characterized by the restoration of the baptism and the gifts of the Holy Ghost. The second move of the Holy Spirit will result in people leaving his glory to churches and planting new churches. In the duration of each of these moves, the people who are involved will say, this is a great revival. But the Lord say, no, neither is this the great revival, but both are steps towards it. So you see that the first one, gift, manifestation of gift, and this one, he said, this is a step to the revival. They are not really the revival. 
that he says, when the world, we hear this, he said, he said um, when the new church face is on the wind, there will be evidence in the churches of something that has not been seen before. A coming together of those with, a, with an emphasis on the word and those with an emphasis on the spirit. Those with emphasis on the word and those with emphasis on the spirit. He says, when the word and the spirit comes together, that will be the biggest moves of the Holy Ghost, that the nations and indeed the world have ever seen. It will mark the beginning of a revival that will witness within these shores, even the Western and Wales revival of former years. The outpouring of God's spirit will flow over from the United Kingdom to main Europe, and from there we begin a missionary move to the ends of the earth. That is the season we are in. He says there will be a new church emphasis on the word and on the spirit. Emphasis on the word and emphasis on the spirit. So without the spirit, the word will not be effective, will not be alive will not bring forth transformation. What brings transformation or what brings change in one's life is the move of the Spirit upon the Word. I don't know where you're getting me. Eh? The Word will not have His power in you if it is void of the Spirit. So when Reverend says we have moved we are in the, he knows what he's talking about and it's true. And that is why everyone here, you will not afford to stay where you used to stay before. Stop staying in anger. Stop staying in unforgiveness. Stop staying in grudge, sentiments. Stop it. This is the time to live in the spirit. Tell your neighbor, this is the time to live in the spirit. This is the time to live in the spirit. This is the time to live in the spirit. You are not saying as if you mean it. Say, this is the time to live in the spirit. Something is happening on the inside of me. This is the time to live in the spirit. This is not the time to accommodate, you know, hate. I hate this one. I hate that one. No. It's the time to live in the spirit. So, Jesus is calling us at this time to pray. All right. Our prayer is not going to be <coughs> like how we have prayed in the past. In the past, they have taught us how to pray. Our fasting is not how we used to fast in the past. Praise God. Hallelujah. In the past, we have fasted different kinds of manner of fasting. That's what we call Daniel fast. That's the other one. A fruit fast, there's only one different kinds of fast. Amen. Amen. Whether you call it Daniel fast, whether you call it um, prophetic fast, whether you call it apostolic fast, whatever fast you call it, that's one thing fasting will do. Fasting will weaken your flesh for you to focus. Fasting, fasting will make will make your flesh not to be effective. So that you can you can focus on what God is saying. In fact, I like the way David put it in Psalm 35. I think in Psalm 35 or verse 13. He said, he says, he said, fasting has humbled my soul. Let's see it, Brotike. Psalm 35. Are we there? <laughs> Can we do it together? But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was side clothed, 
I humbled my soul with what? Fasting. And my prayer returned into my own. So you see, that one of the things fasting will do is to humble your soul. The essence of humbling your soul is for you to focus so that you can align to the frequency of the spirit. Are you getting me? So when they say fast, they are not, they are not trying to kill you. No. It's to deaden the effectiveness of the flesh. Because the flesh will always, always suggest to you, this thing you are fasting self, are you sure, are you sure this thing is real? The flesh will always talk back to you. You will always say something that will make you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. It is the time for us to pray according to the scripture. Prayer in the New Testament is not the same as prayer we pray when we were not born again. Prayer must be by revelation. Prayer must be by the Spirit. Praise God. Hallelujah. Prayer in the New Testament is communication. Can you say that? How many of us are in agreement? It's, it's, it's communication. Where you communicate to God, and God in turn did what? Communicate back to you. I can tell, if I ask how many people now, when you pray, do you hear from God? Maybe one or two people. Prayer is not in the length of time. Can we say that? Can I tell you something? Eh? I can pray four hours in my life in the, in the house before coming to church. But I've noticed that the prayer God answered quickly. See that one I pray five minutes in the bathroom before coming here. No, no, to be honest. Is it that one I pray for like two minutes, three minutes? You know, God, please help me in this area. Help me in this area. That is the one I see God acting fast. But not the one I've lambasted heaven for four hours. Four hours. I will quote scripture, I will open scripture, and the quote four hours. I have seen over time. I'm not saying that you shouldn't pray. But I'm not telling you that. that <laughs> praise God. <laughs> praise God. Praise God. So I found that it was the state of heart at that moment. I was so focused that God, I want this thing to be done. I want this thing to be done. I want this to be done. And at the end of the day, I see those things coming. Within five minutes, brought it again. It surprised me. So what I do now, I pray my four hours prayer, and I come by five, I go there, five, five, four minutes. God, this is what I mean. Since I know that it's working. So that's what I do. Short sharp prayer. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. So you see, you see that our daddy had an idea that prayer is not in the length of time. It's not in the length of you can pray two hours, you've prayed nothing. Heaven, heaven hasn't checked one minute because what you are praying is everything that will pass. We are praying, I miss. Father, you see my enemy. Anywhere they gather, scatter them. Heaven will, heaven will be shaking their head, okay? <laughs> if, we, if we use it to sing song, anywhere they gather, holy gold fire, pursue them. Anywhere demons are gathered, holy gold fire, pursue them. Holy gold fire, pursue them. Holy gold fire, pursue them. Anywhere demons are gathered. You know, don't blame me. That was where I was coming from. It, it was our national anthem. And as we are singing it, things are happening. Men are carrying tears on their head. And demons, people are screaming. Demons are living. I didn't know that God was using that one to draw me closer. That is not it. If I try that again, heaven will knock me. Huh? What? We don't pray this kind of prayer here. Praise God. We are, whether you like it or not, the world is not getting any better. Those who will survive the present time we are in are those who are praying. And those who are praying are like the way our, our daddy called it, our daddy Hagen. He said, the new army. Eh? The end time army. That is what God is raising at this time. End time army. Who will pray 
continually. Because what? The power of evil will ravage. In fact, he started ravaging the earth. You cannot decode. You cannot overcome. You cannot defeat the power of darkness if you are not a man that pray aright. There's power of darkness. There's power of evil. How many of us know that? There's power of darkness. There's power of what? Evil. It would take sense to pray. When saints are praying, incense are going up. It would take sense to pray aright. It would take sense to pray according to the will of God. It would take the sense to pray according to the will of God. When you check out the, the um, Reverend Hagen's prophecy 1980, brought tap Reverend Hagen 1980. Um, this will bring it out for you. I told you that Daddy has given me that spirit. Now I'm looking for prophecies by renowned men of God, not any how men of God, the people who are giving verbal outside. No, those that the Lord has tested over years. I read them, I follow them. Honestly, secretly, you wouldn't know. Secretly, I follow them. I'm just giving you a tip of what I've read. Huh? That these people knew something we do not know. So don't, don't think that you, <laughs> because you speak Kamat and Gafaga, you think that you heard of them. No, 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 no. There are some, some, some levels there. They have entered into that we are still struggling to come into. But if you don't have, I still have it, I will read it. I told you, I have my. I have it. I have, I have man. And every now and then I go there, I read, I say, God help me. Praise God. Hallelujah. You must have that attitude if you want to break the evil or the darkness of your day. If you want to deal with darkness, you must know how to pray. I'm not talking about God, God butter my bread, sugar my tea. No. You must pray according to the will of God. No butter my bread, butter sugar. Yeah, we have prayed that in the past. For how long is it going to butter your bread and sugar your tea? God is raising an army. An army is a defense. I don't even know that. What do, they, uh, what do uh, nations have army? For defense. Is it not for defense? Yes, uh, God, you first of all be a defense for yourself. That's what um, Timothy told us. Save yourself first, isn't it? And those that will, that, that means if a man is not a defense, forget it, those around him will also fall. Yeah. There are many people, there are many people attached to you which you don't even know. You see, my love, I'm very, I knew that long time ago. I'm very careful in what I'm doing because I know the like pastor showed up today. Dan, can you imagine that Dan was giving the physical inheritance, but the main inheritance. It has no portion in it. They maintain. There are people who are God, sugar, man, tea, butter, my bread. I watched I watch a clip where somebody went to the mountain to pray. Two people came and, and they're praying. The man that was praying, the big man came for and said, Lord, thank you for the contract of 30 million. Thank you for the contract of 40 million. See, one rascal just entered. My rent, my rent, my rent. God, money for rent, money for rent. The man that has, that was thanking God for 30 billion, 40 billion, tap him. Oh, how much is your rent? How much, how much is your rent? He said, 30,000 naira. Please, 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 you're disturbing me. It can't 30,000 naira go. Your prayer has been answered, go. <laughs> you're disturbing me. I, I don't know how many, I have money for so I thought it's only me watching Facebook. So, Bro, call up, I don't lie. You watch that thing, isn't it? Yeah, you watch it. You don't watch it. You're lying now. God is watching. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. So the big man said to the two of them, eh? said to the, some of us were like that. Oh, God, 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 visa, 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 visa. God will say, visa, you have visa. Just know me first. Visa will, be, will respond to you. There are people who are cleansing themselves in Nigeria now to come over here. 
as I speak to you, they're calling me. I say, my friend, <laughs> make, 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 sure, make sure you prepare yourself. You have money to pay rent for like six months. Make sure you have money to pay rent for six months. Because there's no space here. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm, I'm being real. Make sure you have money for six months. I, I say, yes, yeah, that's not work. Before you get work, you have your NEI. Before you get work, you have the necessary document. For, that might take you three months. It's not getting visa coming here is the main issue. Praise God. So, prayer. We are in a time that darkness is covering the earth. Look at what that says here. It says, the end of the age is coming upon this generation. The power of darkness, the force of evil are rampage as never before. And they will be increased in intensity. Can you imagine? And velocity. Those who do geography will understand this. Intensity and velocity. And even many Christians will see and look upon these things and say, oh, that's no use. Throw up their hands in futility and say, well, I guess it's all over. We, we will just have to hold on and pray for Jesus to come shortly because the devil is about to take over everything. You see that? These are people that are empty on the inside. These are the people that the world has never visited. Can I say something to you? A believer is still empty on the inside until such a believer begins to have breakthrough in terms of the world. Whether you like it or not. And remember the time I was praying, bro, bro, Pastor God will bear me witness. He said, Pastor, as a pastor, that's something I'm desiring. So I've never breakthrough in this area. He said, but I said, no, I know. I've never breakthrough. And a believer is still empty until you, have, you break through in, in, the, in the world. When you break through, every other thing will fizzle away. The reason why we are complaining is, is because we've never broken through in the area of the word of God. Is, is somebody getting what I'm trying to say? 30 minutes more, 1 o'clock, we really want to pray. pray but am, am I saying anything good this morning? See what it says here. He says, oh, there is no use. He said they will throw their towel. Uh, Jesus, uh, we will just have to hold on and pray for Jesus to come. <laughs> Shortly because the devil is about to take over everything. Can you imagine? <clears throat> the next one. But thus says the Lord, in this day, I am searching the body of Christ to what? Enlist soldiers. May we be one, in fact, we are one of them in Jesus' name. Amen. Are you getting me? Uh, don't you know you're a soldier? That's why they're giving you what they're giving you. And they say to us, a soldier should not entangle himself with the faith of this world. So when you are entangling yourself with the faith of this world, you are not qualified to be a soldier. I, I don't know what, what are you getting me. The face of this life. Satan will always bring the face of this life to you. To, to, to sway you out of the way. We must be wiser than him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. See what it says here. It says, in this day, I am searching the body of Christ to enlist soldiers. I will raise up a new band. I will raise up a new army who will know how to pray against the power of of darkness. That means that's a way to pray against the power of darkness. So when you don't know how to pray against the power of darkness, they will deal with you. I don't know where you're getting me. It's not those ones who pray in those days, oh God, forgive us. That time we're in ignorance. We call it spiritual warfare. And they will tell us it starts by 12. We start by 12. Now when we notice that Satan is escaping 12, we move it to 1. No, yes, yes. Yeah. Maybe if never know, when we, we move from one, now we, we enter two, two. We pray from two. Said they have moved, they change strategy. Now they, they are now, they, they, are, they have decoded our 12 and one. Let's move two. They were from two. We prayed to that. That was ignorant. And what are we praying for? Household enemy. Household wickedness. With Christ. These are the things we are praying for, but those things are not the power of darkness. But rather, it is the manifestation of the power of darkness. 
So people will pray. They pray at least. At the end of the day, we pray against the power of that about um, um, household enemy, household witchcraft, uh, witches and wizards. Uh, at the time, what was written was arrow, arrow, arrow. At least I have to throw arrow to you. I don't know whether, have you, whether you noticed that. We are praying against arrow. Arrow of this, arrow of that, arrow of that. When you come to church, arrow is flying everywhere. No, true, true, true. To, to be, uh, I don't know whether you, you, I don't know whether it's only my, my generation that experience it. Yes, sir. That for one hour we are praying for arrow. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Broby. Thank you. I was thinking I was the only one. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And we are sweating for one hour. But you can wear throwing arrow. <laughs> From arrow, we turn into bad to sender. 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 Oh, my, well, all kinds of, my goodness. But it says here, it says, these people will know how to pray against the power of darkness. If you are not taught, you wouldn't even know what is darkness. Not to talk about praying against the power of darkness. Let's move on. Let's move on. Well, I'm going to soon finish. I told you, 30 minutes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Are you enjoying this? Yes. We're going to pray. I'm just preparing us for us to pray. This time around, we're not throwing arrow. No, no, no. We're taking a disposition of heart that will also make any arrow to disappear. You don't need to pray. When arrow is coming, when they see a heart, I say, no, no, master, we can't go here. This place is fortified. Yeah. And the light we look at, oh, man, God will bless this man. I pray I will see this man in heaven. Amen. He did, huh? Ah, I see this man in heaven. I will say, sir, daddy, thank you for your, you brought light to us. Huh? Those who are doing deliverance, I wish they will see this. Like I was saying on Friday, Christ alone is enough to deal with your foundational problem. It says, it says, how to pray against the power of darkness and the light will dispel. Did you say that? The light will dispel the darkness and the truth will set men free. And the power will break the bounds that bind men's mind and spirit and body. It's always like this. There's power that bind men's mind. What that will break this power is when the world is mixed with spirit. Spirit is the one that searched. It's, it's not what the scripture says. Searched is the one that says he knows where you have been bound. And he knows how to you know, liberate you from that. He said, I he sent forth his word. Don't go there, sir. I'm still reading this. He said, He sent forth his word. What happened? He healed them and did what? And delivered them from what? Destruction. When the word of God is coming with, to you, the word that has spirit, it has an agenda. Huh? First of all, he will heal you from where you have been wounded. Then he will deliver you from the destruction the enemy has said. And the light will dispel the darkness, and the darkness and the truth will set men free, and prayer will break the bands that bind men's mind and spirit and body. I'm trusting God that in this season of prayer, whatever that bind our mind, our body, our spirit, will be losing in the name of Jesus. Yeah. That is said that is a prayer will do that. And the prayer that will do that is not but uh, mighty. No, it's a prayer of a righteous man. The Bible says a prayer of a righteous man do what? Availed much. He, he says he made power available. Thank you. When when a righteous man is praying, a saint is praying. When he's praying, power is made available. Look at what he said. He said, Yeah, there are those who will learn to take their place hurriedly. I want you to watch this. It's talking to the body of Christ. 
It must be hurriedly. It must be quickly. It must be. Quickly it must be that, that they learn. That they enter in quickly to stand against the forces of darkness. You see that? Remember, he used power of darkness. Now, he's using forces of darkness. And evil that will try and come against the land, against the church, against the home, that would try and disturb and destroy all that is good and all that God has endorsed. Can you imagine? The, is this the last one? Quickly, quickly, quickly. I'm rounding up. Praise God. Do. The next one. Do. Is it the next one? But the hand of the Lord is upon those who will listen and are the odd of God in the spirit. You see again? In the spirit, those to those who are attentive, they will pray. You see that? They will pray. The spirit of God will help you to pray. Do not try to do it yourself. So what we are doing in this season is not doing it ourselves. The spirit of God will help us to pray. The Bible says we do not know what to pray. Huh? Huh? But he said the spirit helped our infirmity. So without the spirit helping our infirmity, we can't pray as we ought to pray. He said the spirit of God will help you to pray. I pray that in this season that I have called us to prayer, the spirit of God will help us to pray, all right? Amen. I said, the spirit of God will come upon you. Amen. You will pray in the spirit. Amen. You will pray in the spirit. Amen. I said, you will pray in the spirit. Amen. You will not pray. It's not going to be a mechanical prayer. It will be by the spirit. The spirit will move you and you begin to alter. And everything the spirit alter is right. The spirit does not make mistakes. Praise God. Are you still in the house? Yes, is it the last? Is it the last one, sir? He said, though there must be a labor, see, on your part, yet at the same time rest in him. You see that? So your labor is not, you know, by yourself. You say, rest in him. Let the spirit flow through you like a river, like a mighty wave. Let it flow through you. Give vent to those in a most groaning. So, in this season, we will be experiencing groaning of the spirit. Amen. Whether you say amen or not, it will happen. Amen. You're going to be groaning in the spirit. Amen. Let them escape your lips. Take the time to get alone and wait. Sometimes not even saying anything. But on the inside of you, there is an agonizing. Ooh. So it's not every time you barakata and go do van barakata or shat jan 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 jo 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 jo. No. There are times it's a wait. But instead of you, you are praying. You are praying. See the last one, sir. Praise God. So it's very clear that what we are dealing with is not mechanical. It must be a function of the spirit. Why? Because there is the power of darkness. Isaiah says what? Darkness will cover the earth and gross darkness. The people. And what will happen? Let's see Isaiah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Are we still in the house? Yes, Amen. So this prophecy of Daddy Hagen is for all of us. This is not a time for you to lay back and say, well, it doesn't matter if for prayers. Or if Pastor, Pastor God is um, Daddy Lamy. No. Or Pastor Asuka. No. It's for everyone. The Spirit will come upon you. Amen. Whether you say amen or not, I said that Spirit will come upon you. Amen. You will pray like never before. You see, he said, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and cause darkness the people. You see that? But the Lord shall arise upon thee. And his glory shall be seen upon thee. So there's something coming upon the earth called the darkness. You need, you need to be, you need to be an end 
time army to be able to defeat this power of darkness. Because that prophet said that you must know how. The end time army are those that know how to defeat the power of darkness. Now when you have finished defeating the power of darkness, you also defeat the power of evil. How many of us know that power of evil is higher than power of darkness? You are looking at me as you don't understand. Power of evil is higher than power of darkness. While Satan is doing these things, because Satan knew quite well that the time will come when God also will release upon the earth the, 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 the Bible calls it the four horses. He said he calls it the spirits of heavens. It's a power. Zechariah 6. Pastor, is what? Power. The spirit, he said he called it the spirits of the heavens upon the earth. The spirit of heavens. Satan and Satan is releasing the what? The power of darkness. God also is releasing the power of the heaven called the spirit, the spirit of the heavens. Give me Zechariah 6. From verse 1. Let's, let's give it context. Then we're going to round up. You see, hey, see, see what he called them black horses and all that. Give, let's start from verse 1. And I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked. And behold, there came four, four chariots, you see, out, out from heaven, two mountains, and the mountains were what? Were mountain of brass. And the first chariot were red horses, and in the second chariot, black horses. Is that? The next one, the next one, sir. And in the third Chariot, white horses, and in the fourth chariot, glazely and bay horses. Then I answered and said unto the angel that talked with me, What are these, my Lord? Can we do it together? And the angel answered and said unto me, These are the four spirits of the heavens which go forth from standing before the Lord of all the earth. So as Satan is releasing, God also, that's why God, Satan doesn't know God. He thought he's winning. Look at it. He said, they, these are the four spirits of the heavens which go forth from standing before the Lord and of all the earth. The next verse, and the black horses which are therein go forth into the north country, and the white go forth after them, and the grizzly go forth towards the south country. So the point I'm trying to make here, because if I do it here, okay. And the bear went forth and sought to go that go, that they might walk to and fro through the earth. And he said, Get you hence, walk to and fro through the earth. So they walked to to and fro through the edge. It's okay, but okay. Now, it's very clear that as Satan is releasing his forces, heaven also is releasing his forces to actually, you see, these forces are forces that the end time army will cooperate with to really fight the power of darkness and the power of evil. He said they will know how. He said they will know how to fight the power of darkness. So we start to cooperate in with the powers of heaven, which are the which are the four horses. You won't be able when you read, I don't have time. When you go to Revelation 6, it may mention of it when the seas were open. Don't go there. It may mention of this that I'm talking about here. So without you knowing how to cooperate with the power of, of what? Of, of, of the spirit of the heavens, you won't be able to defeat the power of darkness. When you look at what is going in the world today, do you know that if you don't pray, sir, you don't pray, time is coming eh? when your work is not needed. The way the world is going, eh? the way the world is going, time is coming when your work is not needed. When they will begin to employ robots everywhere. Like somebody telling me that, Pastor, you should know how to do coding. As I'm already doing coding in the spirit. 
He said, that is, that is, no, 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 he told me he had worked. He said, that is, those who are smart now are learning how to do coding. I said, what is coding? He said, coding has to do with every electronics that is coming off upon the face of the earth, that they are looking for them. They are looking for those who are doing coding. I said, coding, this is the latest now. No, not IT again. So no, IT is the smart thing now. It's coding. The name alone self. He said, coding. I said, sir, so thank you for telling me, but I'm already doing coding in the spirit. The word we are preaching are coding. Yeah. Don't understand. These are codes. The Holy Ghost is helping us to unravel. Yes, are you getting me? Yes, sir. That if you are not enlisted in this army, but you can, when you see somebody uh, work, let's say in a workplace where they have about 20 workers and um, robots can do, three robots can do 20 workers' work. Would they, would they need the service of those workers anymore? No, that's what I'm talking about. So don't rely on the technology. Don't. Because the time is coming when the best you know will fail. The world is not getting any better. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I don't know who I'm talking to. Did I say you shouldn't go to school? Go to school. But don't put your mind there. Go to school. Get what you want to get. But don't put your mind there. Because the world is failing. It continues to fail. It will continue to fail. Things are not... Before, before, in the village where I grew, in the village, eh, people were innocent. This last time I, I traveled, I saw that there's no innocence again. In the, I mean, I'm talking about village. There's no innocence again. That you say somebody, um, can, you, can you go to the other, uh, about 34 houses, can you call somebody for me? The person will ask you, brother, how much are you going to give me for, 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 for Okada? I was like, ah, when I was like you, I don't collect money. With joy, I will carry my will. I will go because my elder brother has sent me a message. That before they do anything for you, brother, they will collect something from you. That's the world we're living in. And you are here doing anyhow. Eh? You are doing guy. Listen, you better come out of your guy. And enter into the coding of the Lord. Because the world is getting no better. This is the time to be serious with God. This is the time to be serious with God. COVID, many people learn how to pray. After COVID, they disappear. Do you know that the effect of COVID has never been recovered? That is COVID, though. One out of thousands of things are going to happen upon the face of the earth. And you're here not knowing God. You don't know how to pray. I'm sorry for us. Now, when it happens, don't say, Pastor didn't say it. It's going to happen. What that will prevent you, or what that will you know, you know, set you free, is how much you have enlisted yourself in this army. I was saying to all that army is a defense. Once you become a defense, anything that comes around you will be defeated. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Is somebody getting me? Army is, an, is a defense. Anything that comes around you will be defeated because you are, you are a defense. Let's see how they qualify that a defense. Let's see Isaiah 33. <coughs> Praise God. Isaiah 33, where he was talking about, it was, uh, thank you, take you in the spirit. Thank you. Isaiah 33, it's good, it's good to know your scripture. Amen. Yeah, that, that's one of the, the joy, one of the things we gain when we gave our life and when we became born again. You know, they, they will make sure you understand the scripture. Even though that time we were reading it, we didn't understand it, but they are studying it somewhere. So when the need arises, the Holy Ghost will, will bring it. Listen. Anything you don't have, Holy Ghost will not bring it to. If you like, go, go and cram it. Holy Ghost can't bring anything cram. You must study it and know it. And they will put it somewhere. When the tank of Holy Ghost will just, will just, will just release it for you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Give me verse 15. I'm running up. He said, he shall dwell. 15, sir. Can we read together? He that walketh up. Uh-huh. And speak it uprightly. 
He that despised the grain of oppression, that shaketh his head from holding of bribes, that stopped his ear from hearing of the blood, uh -huh, shutters his eyes for seeing evil. So what will happen to that man? Let's see. Want to go? He shall dwell on a hand. Hold on. So uh, an army in this order is an army that is not dwelling on this plane. Are, are you getting me? You are not on this plane. Huh? You are not on this plane. I, don't, I wish you understand where I'm coming from. You're not on this plane. When you're praying, you're not playing from this plane. Amen. Amen. Then what happened? Can we read? He said, his place of defense shall be what? Of what rocks? Bread shall be given him. His waters shall be sure. What about His waters. This waters here is not, is not drinking water. He's talking about the world. It's sure. Everlasting. That is who an army is. But for you to arrive here, let's go back to 15. <laughs> so what the teaching of Christ will do is these things. He said, he that walketh what? Righteously. That is, that is the realm of Christ. When, when Christ's teaching is coming to you, is to cause you to walk what? Righteously. And speak uprightly. Then despise the grain of operations. You see that? Then shake it his hand from holding a bribe. So you won't be a bribe taker. You know. That stopped his ear from hearing blood. And shuttered his eyes from seeing evil. These are the things you will come into when Christ is, 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 is what? Is, is preached. When Christ is being ministered, these are the, the levels of Christ will come into that will not give us that place where they call high. Let's see it again. The next verse. I'm rounding up. We're going to pray. He shall dwell on high. How many of us want to dwell on high? That is our plan. Anyone dwelling on high, anything happening here will not affect such a person. Honestly. He said he shall dwell on high. And what will happen, sir? His place of defense shall be the manutions of rock. Who, who, who knows the meaning of manutions? So, somebody give me the, what is the meaning of manutions? Aminations, you see? Aminations. So that person is, is, is armed. He has aminations. So he's really a proper soldier to deal with the power of darkness. So a man that do not have ammunition can deal with the power of darkness. Satan wants us to be wretched, but we're not going to be wretched at this time. Amen. He didn't get it. I say, you, we're not going to be wretched at this time. And remember the man in Revelation. Let's close with that. I'm done. Then we'll begin to pray. I told you 30 minutes. Brakuma, did I see 30 minutes? No. If you don't say no, I say no for myself. 30 <laughs> minutes, I didn't. Praise God. Amen. Because that said, I am rich and increase it with goods and have need of nothing. Does this one sound like what we read it in the other place? Speak, eh? It sounds like it, right? You see, because that's it. Uh, can you give me the two together? Is that technology can work today? That's Isaiah. <laughs> Come on, you can work. Believe God. I'm writing up. Amen. Amen. But are you getting the, the point I'm making this? Yes, that God is raising you an end time army. An end time army is he that can pierce the heavenlies. It's he that can deal with the power of darkness. Yes. The Bible said, he said, he said, he said, men ought to pray. Not to do what? Not to faint. We are all to pray, not to faint. When someone is fainting, is not praying. You didn't get me. When someone is fainting, is not praying. You see what prayer does? 
when one is fainting, is not a prayer person. So one of the things prayer does is to lift you above fainting, is to recalibrate you, is to bring strength from within. Are you getting me? Is 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 for to bring when someone is is fainting, is not a prayer person. Why is somebody complaining a lot? Bah, 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 bah. Allow the person to finish complaining. Then they will ask him, how do you pray? How is your prayer life? Um, Pastor, I mean, you see, um, I, I, I work, you know, Monday to Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you know. Um, you see that the problem is prayer. Are you getting me? All those complaints is because the person is not praying. But if we see people who pray, they don't complain. Because they follow the scripture. He said, in everything, give thanks. Huh? It's not what he says. With supplication. It's not what he said. Huh? Don't go there. Let me just finish this and then we end. See, see what he said here. Brother, give me verse 15 of that Isaiah. He says, A counsel, he said, I can see thee to buy of me gold tried in fire, that thou may be rich. And remember, no, go to 17 now, Revelation. That's 317. I want to compare the two. 17, sir. Uh -uh. Is it, has he frozen? <laughs> he said, He that walketh uprightly and speaketh up, he that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly, he that despiseth the grain of offering, that shaketh his hand from holding of bribes, that stopped his ear from hearing, hearing, hearing blood, and shut his eyes from seeing evil. He said, because thou says, I am rich, and increased with goods. You see that? And I have need of nothing. And knowest not that thou art what? Wretched. What again? And miserable. And poor, and blind, and naked. This is a life of he that is not prayerful. Anyone you see lamenting, you see this thing happening to him, the person is not a prayerful person. I don't know where you're getting me. Such a person is not praying. And when I say prayer, I'm not praying, I'm not talking about prayer as in God, car, car. No, that's not what I'm praying. Praying according to his will. Finally, I end with this. Give me the, uh, Romans 12. Verse 6. Okay, we're going to pray now. 7. 8. Nine, uh, ten. Be kindly affected one to another with brotherly love, in honor, preferring one another. Brother he led us through this this morning. The next one is a time of preferring one another. It's not a time of one being sluggish. He says, not slothful in business. See what he says here. Doing what? Fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Meaning that anyone that is not fervent in spirit can serve the Lord. One of the ways to test a man who is fervent in spirit is prayer. Can we say that? Are we correct? Yeah, so anyone that is not praying, not fervent, and you're not serving the Lord. The next verse, I'm running up. Then we pray. Distribute to this. Okay. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. This continuing instant in prayer means praying without ceasing. That's no hour that passes you are not praying. And it's not, it doesn't mean that you are just kneeling that praying in your heart. You are communicating. Remember I said that, that prayer is communication. That's what prayer is in the New Testament. 
When one is communicating, you are actually praying. Praise God. He said, rejoicing in hope, patience in tribulation, continuing in instant in prayer. The next verse. Distribute to the necessity of sent, given to hospitality. Praise the Lord. This is a season that our prayer will be instant prayer. You know, Paul was commending Timothy. He said, he said, preach, preach, preaching in instant, instant in preaching. Yes. In season and out of season. So your, your preaching shouldn't be okay. Preach the word. Thank you, TK. Be instant in season. So, and what out of season? You say reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. That's what I've just done this morning. That's what I've just done this morning. I've reproved, I've, 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 I've reproved, I've rebuked, I've exhorted us with long suffering and also doctrine. I've shown you doctrine this morning. The Lord is saying to us that we have been listed to the army of God. Let me see that scripture that says, um, if you are an army listed as a soldier, you are not, you are not meant to be entangled with the what affairs of the so prayer. God will come and lead us in like 10 minutes or 20 minutes prayer. So let me read that, then you come. He said, no man that worried entangled himself. Give me verse 3, so let's give you contents. Amen. 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 Are we ready to pray? Yes, Therefore, it's okay. Therefore, endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that worried entangled himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who has what? Chosen him to be a soldier. This is a time for us not to entangle with affairs. Satan will bring you know, accusation. You see, this season of uh, prayer, temptation will come. Please don't fall to temptation. They will try your faith. Please, 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 don't waste your trial. Cooperate with the Spirit. And I can tell you that by the time we are rejoicing here on the 5th of March, you will see a new you rising from within. Amen. Let's begin to respond to God. The Lord will help us in this time to pray according to His will. Mana pasa para pasa para kata para kata para kata lumba na kata para bosa para kata para oh shaba ba 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 Let's be on our feet. Let's pray. Let's pray. Kabosh te fe kala ya bosh te geri ala ba se ke pata kaya e prala ba se ke. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. La ba se kaya Meraka se beriaka soriaka bariaka pariaka tabariaka pantaka yalaba e raba se kranda la braka sole brena galaba legri alaba saka tal yalaba e raba saka laba seke dagar yalaba e raba saka talaba seka bata bar yalaba seka breala be arada laba seka brianda le malaba seka bata kar yalaba E pari alaba se ka bata bali agalaba e braka basa brala ba se ke bri alaba so ka bata ri alaba e raba sa ka bata ri alaba se ka bari alaba aro ka se baba ba so la ba se ka tonda la ba se kra la ba se ke ri alaba e raba sa ka ta bari alaba e ta bari ka la bri alaba se ka banda la ba se ka la ba la ba e raba nda la ba se kra la ba sa ka pota la ba se ke le be e raba sa ka ta bari alaba a raba la ba se ke bari alaba se ke ri alaba e nda se bo ste ve le ba se bri anda le ba ka ta ba la ba a raba se ka la ba in jesus name we pray we are praying that the Lord will help us, that we will cease to entangle ourselves with our face of this life. Hallelujah. Uh, Apostle Paul, I think, I think the book of Philippians chapter 2 verse 2, Apostle Paul said something about uh, a, a, a man, uh, he, was, he was greeting him. He said, greeting. Can we see the uh, uh, Philippians 2, is it Philippians 2, 2, uh, 
I think Philippians, you see, he was talking about Epaphroditus. He said he's a, he's a, he's a fellow laborer and, uh, and a, a, a soldier, a fellow laborer. I say, hallelujah. Oh, oh, sorry, chapter 25. He said, I, 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 I suppose it necessary to send Epaphroditus, my brother and companion in labor wow. and a fellow soldier but your messenger, and he's a minister to my wants. Hallelujah. He said, I wish not entangle us. Said, Therefore, brother Epaphroditus is a man, he didn't entangle himself. How? Because he come into laboring into the things he have received. Hallelujah. Amen. So we want to pray that the Lord will help us in this season to labor in the word. Amen. Hallelujah. That the Lord will help us as we are receiving the word that will begin to labor on it. In the name of Jesus, let's pray. Father, we are praying this. Uh, we will help us, Lord, to begin to labor in the word. Until we will labor in the word. We will labor in the word. We will labor in the word. Everyone will labor in the word. That laboring. We will make us labor as a soldier. We begin to labor. We begin to labor. We bring the party out of the spirit to labor. We pray that we will labor. That we will labor. That we will begin to labor. Atasa pakazi atabalaga. Atasalata. 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 We begin to labor. Everyone labor. 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 Atosa prekesi apralaba. Asaka pandalaba. Atasalata. Palaga, the whole level, Atasa, Ebrelege, Nasapo, Kaziata, Balali, Alalala. In Jesus' name we pray. What are we laboring for? We heard this morning. The Bible says that in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. He said that, and the earth were without form and void, and the Spirit of the Lord was upon the waters. Hallelujah. That which we are laboring is on this water that is given to us. He said that the Spirit of the Lord will be upon the water. When the Spirit is upon the word that is in you, the waters that have been poured into you. When your heart begins to pant, begin to meditate on this word, that is when the spirit will be upon it. And when the spirit be upon what will come, he say, let there be light. There be light to walk. Hallelujah. In this season, there are going to be many light for us to walk in. Hallelujah. There's going to be great understanding how to walk in the spirit. We are in the, re in the season of walking in the spirit. We need light to walk in the spirit. We pray, let's pray that the spirit of the Lord will be upon every waters in me. That there be light in the name of Jesus. We pray that the pariakalata kalata upon the waters, upon the waters, that the spirit of the Lord will be upon every water, upon the waters. The spirit of the Lord will rest upon every Every water at all sepeke in the season in this season the spirit of the Lord will be upon the waters will be upon the water we pray for the Holy Ghost to be upon the waters that be upon the waters of your brother it all merete mosteke bila kataraba e shoya bedeoza the Spirit of the Lord will be upon the water and there will be light. There will be light. We pray there will be light. In this season, there will be many lights. There will be light. There will be light. There will be light. Because of the Spirit upon the waters, there will be light. There will be light. There will be light. Le kazonda laba alaba. In Jesus' name we pray. We pray, Father, that the Lord will give us strength in this season. The, the, the word of the Lord has come to us so much expressly this morning. I believe it's in continuation of what the, the prophetic utterance that we heard that when the season of living in the spirit or walking in the spirit, these are these are these are these are the, the, the things that, that will cause us to walk in the spirit. A one that walk in the spirit 
is a one that pray according to the will of the Lord. We want to pray that we shall be strengthened. Everyone will come into strength. That we will pray with strength of the Lord. Everyone will receive strength in this season. In the name of Jesus. That we shall not faint. There will be no fainting in our midst. But we shall walk in strength. In the name of Jesus. We pray the word of the Lord. As it is written. That they that wait upon the Lord. Ah, they shall the mount up in this season. Everyone will mount up with wings like an eagle. There will be a mountain up by the spirit of the Lord. We will mount up. Everyone will mount up. There will be a mountain up your wings like an eagle. Everyone will run. You will run and not be weary. You will walk and not faint. We will walk and not faint. We will walk and not faint. Lay prostate brain enemy. We exchange weakness with strength of the Lord. The Lord is our strength. He crossed Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. As we wait upon the Lord this season, the Lord will be your strength in Jesus' name. Amen. In this season, the Lord will cause this so hard to mount wings like an eagle. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Those that are running, they will run and not be weary. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Those that are walking, they will walk and not faint. Amen. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for the spirit of the Lord. We thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We thank God. Father, we thank you for this provision. Lord, we are following the instruction you are given to us. You say we should do this as often as, as we can. Father, we pray if there be anyone among us that have fallen astray, Lord, we pray for mercy in the name of Jesus. For you said that we should eat it wordly. When we eat it unwordly, so many fail sick, many sleep. Therefore, Lord, I pray here, if there's any unworthy soul, for the cause that soul to be worthy this morning, in the name of Jesus. Father, as we eat your flesh and drink your blood, Father, in us we begin to emerge from within. Father, Lord, we begin to develop that appetite to pray with our season. Yes. Thank you, Father, for hearing us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Pastor, please. The Father is feeding us. We are eating. David's arising. Savior's arising. The Father is feeding us. We are eating. Eternal pastures we are receiving. The Father is feeding. We are sweet, we are eating. Most holy pastures we are receiving. The Father is feeding. Us we are eating. Eternal pastures we are receiving. David's arising. Savior's arising. David's arising. Savior's arising. Arising, David's arising, Savior's arising, David's arising, Savior's arising. The Father is speaking, us we are heeding, Savior's arising, David's arising. The Father is speaking, and we are heeding, Savior's arising, David's arising, David's arising. Saviors arising, David's arising, Saviors arising, David's arising, Saviors arising, David's arising, Saviors arising. The Father is teaching, the Son is speaking, all that He's saying, we shall be doing. The Father is teaching, the Son is speaking, all that He's saying, we shall be doing. David's arising, Saviors arising, David's arising. Saviors arising, David's arising. Saviors arising, David's arising. Saviors arising. As we receive the commandments of the Father, we rejoice. We 
Jesus. Liga bala gata bala gata bala gata. O chagada ga pre 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 pre. Managada. O chagada gata ga bala gata. Managada ba 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 ba. E o chagala o pele o peleando favanda. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the ability. Thank you, Father, for the things of God you have given to us today. Aya bananato, O Farakanda. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we are thanking you one more time for this time. Lord, we are trusting you that none of us shall fall at the wayside. Lord, we ask for ability, ability, ability to pray, capacity to pray. Lord, we pray, we pray, we pray, and ask you that you will anoint us afraid for to pray. That everyone will pray according to your will in the name of Jesus. Father, as we have taken your blood and are eating your flesh, we pray by mercy. If there is any limitation, if there is any barrier, if there's anything that wouldn't uh, wouldn't allow us to penetrate the heavenlies, Father, by mercy, let them be taken away in the name of Jesus. Amen. Empower your people this week. Empower us, Father. Teach us how to pray to your own glory. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Shall we appreciate God? Hallelujah. Appreciate God. be on our feet even as we give our offering. If you want to pay through the media, that's the account number. We are admonished and encouraged always to give and never stop in doing good. Hallelujah. He said that in due time, the Lord will reward you according to your works. Hallelujah. So let's be on our feet as we give to the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. No by power, no by mind, by my spirit, says the Lord. We are going to God. Oh, we are going to God. Let's sing, let's sing. No by power, no by mind. Let's by stand up. My spirit, says the Lord. We are going to God. Let's rejoice! Can somebody rejoice? Not by power, no by mind, by my spirit, says the Lord. We are going to God, oh, oh. we are going to God, oh. Because we have a much more word, much more word of prophecy. We are going to God, oh, we are going to God, oh, we are going to God, oh, we are going to God, oh. Father, for the blessing you have blessed us this morning. Thank you for this season, the season of walking in the Spirit. We thank you, Father, for what you have led us this morning by your Spirit. We thank you for even the opportunity to give. We thank you, Lord, for blessing this gift in Jesus' name. And as many are desire to give, but they don't have, Lord, it is written 
that you give bread to the eater and you give seed to the sower according to the desires of the heart to sow. Father, give them seed to sow in Jesus' name. Thank you for honoring your word. For in Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Let's sit down. Praise the Lord. Let's welcome Mami again. Mami Lami. Amen. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. She will not overstay again. Amen. I'm sure you're all aware we've started our 21-day fasting from today. Amen. Amen. And we should all engage with the activities of the house, though I know some of us had breakfast. <laughs> I, had, <laughs> I had chocolate. <laughs> but we, we are all going to engage in the activities of the house. Amen. 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 And follow what our pastor says. Amen. Uh, Easter retreat, can we all fill in the form? Sister Rina has been sending forms for all of us to, to fill in for Easter retreat. It helps the organizing committee, knowing who is to come and which rooms you are going to occupy. Amen. Um, there is also announcement about water. There has been an observation that some people open water and they don't finish it, you know. And we are not watching the children. When the children open the water, please just ensure the parents ma make sure that the children finish the water. When you open the water, make sure you finish it. It costs money. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. God bless you all. Thank you. Let's appreciate God for hallelujah. Amen. And also, um, how many of us know what is happening tomorrow? evening by 7 to 8. Yes. Correct. So make sure you tune in. Last week was a uh -huh. <laughs> Bro, TK, don't get me dancing now. Or else we're not leaving this place today. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. So uh, any bad day today? No bad day today. So if there's no bad day, if, if there's no bad day today, next week, that we, okay, we are, oh, we are seven for tomorrow, yeah? Okay, we are seven for tomorrow, amen. Praise, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, you know, you know, it's not easy to turn 50, you know? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I, wait, wait. Don't, don't be of a jealous than the person, man. Eh? I said, I said, I I called my wife. I said, but do you know how old I am now? Uh, yeah, Jubilee, yeah. Okay, we'll leave it in this with that. Come and close the service before we start on that one. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you, Pastor. May the good Lord bless you. And you know, for the next three weeks, we are going to be celebrating his birthday. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. We know his birthday is in how many hours time? But the reality of it is that because of the fasting and prayer, we are going to celebrate on that very day when the, the fasting and prayer is over, then on that very day, we will feast. So, the, another reason why you should fast is so that everything would be out of your tummy and then you will make room for that which is to come. Praise the Lord. 
let us understand that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Father, your people will have your unction for prayer. That, Lord, nobody is going to engage, Lord, in, 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 in a fast. Lord, indeed, that is just to penalize the body. But in a fast that is to separate, Lord, indeed, the soul from the demands of flesh. That in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, throughout this period, the emphasis will be on contacting your throne of grace. In order, Lord, indeed, to have what it takes, Lord, indeed, to engage in warfare at a very high level. That in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, we will all come into this together. Even this, this, this particular fasting and prayer will serve the purpose of linking us up in the spirit. That every member of this church will come together in the unity of faith. Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that whatsoever the Holy Spirit puts into our minds, Lord, indeed to pray. We will pray with such consistency. We will pray with such resilience. We will pray with an insistence, Lord, indeed, that the will of heaven, the will of our Father, will be done on the face of the earth. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord and our God, indeed, that no mountain will be too high for us to climb. That no valley will be too, too low for us to feel. That in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Almighty God, we pray again and again for unction during this time. And that unction will not cease in three weeks' time. But rather we continue to increase day after day in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We remember, Lord, indeed, our pregnant women. We ask, Lord, indeed, that throughout this period and beyond, their health will be secure. Amen. The health of the children in them will be secure. Amen. And, Lord, indeed, the delivery, Almighty God, will be secure Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Having taken Holy Communion today and in the day, in the, in, on the Sundays that are left during this fast, we are praying, Lord, in need that sickness will be banished from the midst of your people. That in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as many as have stiff joints, the joints will be loosened. Amen. As many as are slow physically, Lord, indeed, you will increase, Lord, indeed, the speed of their movements. Amen. Our Lord and our God, every organ that has hitherto dried up in its functions, the functions will be restored. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. eyesight, Almighty God, will be restored. Amen. Our Lord and our God, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every part of our bodies, Lord, indeed, will be loosened up, Lord, indeed, during this time. Amen. And good health, divine health, shall be the portion of your people hereafter. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. thank you, our Lord and our God. Oh, we just bless you, Father. We give you all the glory, Lord. A victorious week, indeed. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, indeed, to, be, to, to continue, Father, Lord, indeed, in your word, that we might truly be your disciples. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Let's share the grace, please. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness, mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless us all.